And we're back. It is Friday. Friday means KOF day. Uh, we got some exciting matches for you planned today. It is week four of Challenger League. Welcome everyone who tuned in today. Uh, my name is Hundert. I'll be your host today. With me is Dracula. Hi guys. And uh, we got some ups and downs. Uh, for starters, we have different matches than what we told you on Twitter. Um, the first one will be the same. So this will be Heiko versus Dracula. Um, very long anticipated match. If we go to our um, our standings, our current standings, we can see in Group A we have two people who have nothing but wins counted for them, and those two are Heiko and Dracula, respectively. Very strong players, and only one of them will keep the streak going. Um, then, in with our for our second match today. We have Mesh Harder, but not going up against Prepsky as it was promised, but going up against uh, RNGesus. This will yes. be a pre-recorded match. They played this uh, evening, uh, this afternoon. I have not seen the VOD uh, as of right now. I don't think you have either. I didn't Correct. have either. I didn't have the time. I am not even like prepared i'm just like <laughs> i just go to the practice right. i just just go to the practice and just practice some combos right. but you i'm kind against... of prepared for the matchup against uh heiko um he was like a very prominent player the last two streams like against amazing legend uh, we saw some stuff and against van last week it was a really type set so Let's see if I can do something about uh, his playstyle and if I learned something from watching him two sets uh, playing. Uh, but I'm really excited to play against him. Um, like you said, it's the, the uh, one anticipated match because the winner of this is certainly uh, not only uh, continuing his streak, but pretty likely to advance into yes. the playoffs. So To explain uh, to the new viewers what, what that means, we have two groups, a group A and group B, uh, consisting of eight players. Everybody plays everybody, like in a league system. Uh, first of five, if you win the set, you get one extra point, and the first two in the group will advance to the playoffs. It's like semifinals and grand finals, and uh, play for uh, place three. Mm -hmm. And we have um, the other two, like if you are in the top four, you will advance into the, like, let, let's, let, let's say, like the premium league for the yeah. next season. So you are only um, matched against players who also were top, uh, top four in the other group. Yes. So, so two uh, players, a lot of, yeah. Two players from each group will advance to the playoffs, which is just a four-man bracket, single elimination. Um, one thing to note is that these seedings are very, very, very hard to get, especially in Group A. We have a lot of killers. It is not at all obvious who will, who is going to advance. So yeah. uh, winning this match, this uh, coming up match, and getting the momentum boost from it will be a huge factor. And... The, he who will win this match uh, is very hard to stop. Definitely. Like, there are only, I think there are only like three, two more matches. Yes, so we are in score. week four of Challenger League. There will yeah. be seven league, uh, seven weeks in total. So seven weeks of matches in total before we advance mm -hmm. to the playoffs. Um, and so we are right in the middle. We have the, the centerpiece of this whole tournament right now. And 
So it, it will be very exciting to see uh, upsets or maybe uh, trends continuing getting stronger as the match goes on. Do you have any um, strategies or any any thoughts you want to share with us before you go into the match right now? Not that much. I want to try to brush him down cleanly. Like right. one thing I noticed the last time is that his anti-airs are on point. So, and that his playstyle is more in the neutral and in the keep away space, even like with characters with like Oyashiro, who even are supposed to play like closed because they got command grabs yes. and stuff. Um, I try to play, uh, play patiently and to get momentum if I, if I hit him and if I get combos. So, if he is once in the corner, I will try to keep him, him that way. And I hope my execution is clean. <laughs> That's one um, concern I have, especially for online. Yes. Uh, and especially in that format. Um, but I hope that I can show uh, that we get an awesome set. And um, I think it's going to be even, I guess. Uh, but, but let's see. Because yeah. like last time against Van, it was even. It was only like mini decisions. And I think uh, against Psycho, it will be the same. Yeah. Like, so definitely one of the most anticipated matchups today. Chat, if you have a clear favorite, please share with, uh, in the chat comments. And everyone will talk you down and tell you that you're wrong, which is great. Also, uh, give some love to Prepsky. He injured his hand, which is why he couldn't be with us today. But he is with us in the stream chat, uh, trolling everyone and saying mean things about Choi. Choi has never done anything wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> Choi did everything wrong. Prepsky, I feel you, bro. So, Every, everybody gets Choi once in their life and they will hate the character forever. Okay. Um, I think... I think we're we just about start. ready to go, right? Okay. Uh, I will share my screen and mm -hmm. I think I will mute myself because I uh, won't be able to commentate and play at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, guys... I hope everything is ready. It looks pretty good to me. Okay. So good. Dracula on player one side, Heiko on player two side. I hope this will be uh, how this match looks in the end. If not, I will quickly swap around the names. Okay. So I will turn turn myself off and we will see uh, right. us. See you uh, on the other side. In, see you on the other side, yes. Have fun. All right. Let's see. Also, hi to everyone who's tuned in so far. Hi to Mesh Harder, I see you. Uh, you are already done with your match for today. Uh, hi, Prepsky. We should play some time. Hi, Vlav. Antic. I think Huggy's in the stream today as well. Good evening to y'all. Great to have you with us. Also, hi, Jan, who is with us uh, from some random as train station, I think. 160p action. Let's go. Getting some coffee in my system. I'm sorry. So teams should be pretty straightforward for both uh, guys. We have the Iori, Benimaru, Orochi, Chris for Dracula. Getting some Orochi Yashi Robrian Battler. Also a Benny Maru for Heiko. No surprises there. Maybe the Brian is kind of awkward. But nevertheless, very strong character. And let's go to Saudi Arabia for our first match. It will be a point Benny Mirror. And let's see how both players open this. Just dashing in completely, no fear. A lot of long-range limbs. Benny Marvel, of course, so good at controlling space. Super jump JD. Oh! Block DP. No real punish, though. So far, it's looking fairly even. A lot of small pokes getting exchanged between the two. Right now, Benny Maru from Dracula on his first point. Uh, big call out. We are on four frames of delay right now. Hey, hi, Donna. How are you doing? 
Oh yeah, did you see the female Brian? Like the the uh, KOF gacha thing? That was great. Maybe Haiku picked him because of that. Right now it's not looking that great for him though. He's really having trouble opening the Spenimaru up. Nice confirm into Super there. Of course everything that Spenimaru does in this game hurts a lot. A lot of easy confirms like that to be into heavy uh, into heavy stationary fireball. And in the corner you can actually juggle into Super from that. Oh, and that was the chip out. One character left, and but it's a big one. It's old Yash, uh, old Yashiro, Orochi Yashiro. I'm sorry, I was talking in ST terms. So let's see if he can turn this one around. First game. Ooh, man, those two bees. Benny Maru with such big range on his normals. Nice anti air. Yeah. The patience. 2C, another 2C, sweep, oh big punish, right into the corner where Yashiro wants you, another sweep, meshes out, god cancel CD, another sweep, jumping D, and another punish on the DP, Haiko tying it up, not really, but he's still got two more characters to go, big chunk of life. This character can deal a lot of damage. It is not decided at all how this match is going to end. Now the Yori, another character who does absurd amounts of damage. Haiku going in with the charge right now. Rekas? What's the Oki? Haiku just pressing buttons in neutral, trying to stop this avalanche. And right now with the reversal command grab, misses the follow-up. Oh, and gets clipped with the standing D. Into the disconnect. What has happened? <laughs> White hair equals old Yashiro. I guess you're right. I don't know, every time I see, like... A 90s game and some characters called O dot I immediately just autocorrect to old something 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 it's just how my brain works all right we're work we're wa uh, waiting for Heiko to rejoin the lobby can I get some F's in the chat for everyone who's gotten hit by Yori Fadi because that's me every single time I fight this character. <laughs> Jan has some reservations against Yuri Fadi, I guess. What's your favorite normal, like, to everyone in chat? What's your favorite KOF normal? Minus uh, secretary jumping D. Like with uh, Vice or Mature. Fadi into max mode? Yeah. That's the good stuff, right? Kyo J2C, Yuri JC. Yuri JC is pretty strong. Pretty good choice. Hammer Fist. K dash JD. I like those. Sinju, you have to say uh, some uh, scissor hands looking guy jumping D, preferably from Super Jump. Random Clark normal? Yeah. I like Clark. I was playing, uh, I was playing KOF 2000 the other day. I'm sorry for the delay. It's fine, um, it's fine. We got, I'm gonna reset the stream again. Alright. Um, there was some FPS drops from uh, Heiko's side. Oh, I see, I see. But I think he... I will still take the first game, I don't know. 
Um, that's on you guys. Yeah. I think if it's okay for everyone, I will just give that point to you. There you I go. Don't. Kane Farsi, the bonk normal. That's a pretty good choice too. You read forward plus A. <laughs> That's the SNK patented cute girl normal. Every cute girl has it. Uh, Yuri has it. Athena has it in jumping down B. Also, Earthquake has it in uh, running B. And Wanfu has it in forward plus kick, which are all cute girls. The more you know. Also, I played uh, KOF 2000 the other day and they replaced the uh, far C from Clark with some random ass far punch normal, which is not the backhanded fist, and I was very sad about that. You're right, Earthquick is my favorite cute girl as well. Alright, we're going into game two of this set. Thanks for staying with me so long <laughs> with my dumb jokes. Same teams? Not really same teams. We're seeing the AG coming out from Heiko. Uh, same teams, uh, same members for all the other. All right then. And we're seeing the same point Benimaru mirror we saw a few moments ago. Nice NTRI Jinkin. Oh. Getting a few drops uh, on my side right now. I'm very sorry about that. Nice chase on the uh, wake up roll. Trying to get some space. Heiko is not having any of that. A lot of super jumps coming out from both players, trying to really get into the headspace of every of each other. Crouching these. Command grab. Rolls into it, stays in front, another command grab, and it's looking very... Ooh. Crouching B. What a great poke. Iori on second. Did a lot of damage last time, let's see how it goes this time. A lot of super jump jumping D. Rekha's coming out. What's the Oki gonna be? Hop JC. And the guard cancels CD. Very, very powerful in this game, and it can actually kill. So this is not just damage you take and can recover, like in uh, newer games, but this is actual real man's damage, and it is a lot of it too. So sometimes when you're on defense in uh, chip kill range, if the enemy is in chip kill range, the best thing is actually to just let the enemy approach and guard cancel CD into the kill. Oh, drops the wrecker, confirm. Nice hop pressure. Standing D. Fireballs. Goes so hard to actually pin AG down. He gets a big punish. Oh, and the tackle! Oh. Wake up super. Uh, roll super. Didn't really catch anything from uh, Dracula there. And the guard projectile coming up. Oh, crosses him up and catches him with the low. But there is not a lot of life on this character left. We are on round four. Dracula now on his last character. Uh, Haiku still with Yashiro on deck. This is looking very hard to win. But Orochi Chris not. Uh, not one of the scariest characters in the game for nothing. Extremely safe offense, very hard to pin down, has some extremely damaging combos. Oh, nice grab! 
Shuriken. Another one. Projector nullification. Nice air to air. Ah, oh, and he trades a lot in his favor. Another grab. Shuriken. Dracula, one hit away from getting eliminated. And the jumping B. Very nice. Heiko ties it up one to one. See Ray Jenkins giving free juggle is pretty good, yeah. Automod is pretty strict. I don't know, man. It's fine, I got your back, my shadow. Alright, same teams from both players, no character changes. Would have been weird to see Dracula on another team. He's so comfortable with the Benimaru, Iori, Orochi, Chris. I don't think he will change even if he's uh, four games down, which will not happen. I love those Benimaru matches. One point position. Both players are so evenly matched, it's really a coin toss with. Uh, if either of those two Venimaros would come out on top. Wow, ballsy DP. Dracula ate a lot of those in the first round. Heiko seems to have gotten some kind of download. Let's see if the file is corrupted or not. Yeah, they're good characters, but they're also really fun to play. Nice defensive grab from Benimaru. Uh, Jinkin catches the mashing. Another DP. Heiko has been very on point with those reaction NTR DPs. It's very hard in this game, especially with three frames of delay. Oh, and just like that, Dracula's on his last character, while Benimaru still with almost full life. This is looking like a wash. Command grab coming out. Ops. Try to go for another cheeky command grab. No dice. Oh, that was the nastiest cross up. Chad, have you seen that? That hit in front. How did that hit in front? Jesus. Nice jumping D, another command grab. Oh wow, and that was enough. Heiko going 2-1 two to one right now. My reason for winning? I'm just cool, real cool. Damn, Heiko making a strong statement in this game 3. Let's see if Dracula can adapt to this. He said it was a 50-50 matchup for him. So he might have been real flustered with this. Uh, I think that was an OCV, right? All right. No character changes so far. We're going to different dimension. It's KOF 97 time, baby. Yeah, it was the Benny Maru command grab who finished uh, Chris, so it was an OCV, right? Ooh! Dracula being a lot more careful with those DPs and answering with one of his own. I like the choice there. Oh, and Heiko is not wasting any time. He's going in with another DP. Will we see another DP? Command grab? No, he's been blocking. Nice cross up. <gasps> Jumping D. 
One more, one more hit, blocked or... I... oops. Hey, there's the stream. Alright, so no OCV this time, maybe another turnaround. Edgy's looking mighty fine, just staying back and blocking, but we're go not go uh, he's not going down without a fight and we're back to the very patient game. I like the decisions made by Haiku, he's not taking any unnecessary chances with his play, playing very compact, very safe, just taking a little bit of damage, doing a few hit confirms. Nice air Rajink in there from Dracula to stop his air momentum and maybe throw off Haiko's punishes. Not a lot of uh, ground gained in this exchange, but it was worth it just to uh, send a message that you can't just anti-air on reaction every time. Oh, there you go. Nice empty cancel. Good pressure. Dracula has really made this comeback count where it... Oh, oh! Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, this character's neutral is just really, really oppressive. Oh, that's punishable. Fireballs. God cancel rolls out. Dracula not content with getting anything, but he gets clipped by the instant overhead. Goes into Orochi Chris now. Round four. Haiku has turned this around with AG alone. Still on about 40% life. Gets thrown for his troubles. Cross up and... Dracula not wasting any time. Once that character out of the equation spends the super bar, he is now up against Yashiro. Yashiro, yo! Yeah, this is a very difficult matchup to win for Heiko. Ooh, ooh! Don't do this to your own singer! Think of the band, man! Oh, they're jumping! <gasps> this is the command grab. Big fireball coming out. Hops. Both characters having a lot of respect for each other. Dracula almost on this last hit. <gasps> Not much. Oh, he gets hit. Aiko clawing his way back from the very oppressive <laughs> Benimaru and then from an even more oppressive Orochi Chris. That was a great match. It's now 3 to 1. I think Chris is just short. I don't think he's like super young or anything if I don't know someone check the SNK wiki and tell me how young Chris is in relation to Orochi uh, in relation to uh, Yashiro I think he's just short sweep Don't you wish you had <laughs> Benny Maru's button sometimes? That's punishable. Takes the sweep and is content with it. Oh, and that is even more punishable. Big opportunity here for Dracula. Tying the life total up, more or less. Command grabs. Man, that does so much damage. Nice blocks. Good air to air. Ooh. And Haiku was just pressing. Crouching C here paid out beautifully for him. Chris is 14? What? Is that legal? 
Is he allowed to be in a fighting tournament? He's 14, he's like 80 in dog years. Great pressure coming out from Dracula. And now he's, now he's uh, on the offensive with those TPs, stopping Heiko's movement, tying it up one to one. We're going into round three with the menace. The absolute menace, AG. Oh, big hit, no confirm. <gasps> Maiden mashup. Dracula playing way more aggressively right now. He wants this character dead. He doesn't care how many meters he is going to have to burn to it, uh, to get to it. Big confirm. God cancel CD. Oh. It's been a lot of those uh, supers just in neutral trying to get some whiff button or anything or like a throw or something. Never worked out. Dracula with the Yori now going uh, one character up. And it's only Yashiro left. This might be the turning point in this matchup. I thought Yuri was like 19. I can just expect that she was like short and had good genes or something. Like I'm 27 and I look like I'm 50. Those northern jeans, right, Prepsky? Oh, great defensive play with the hops, uh, hop D's from Yashiro. He is now almost back to full health against Chris. This matchup should be in Dracula's favor, but as we've seen in the last game, not everything that the tier list says might be true, especially not when there's two world-class players such as Dracula. Wow, look at that damage, that was almost 60%. Unblockable, reset, throw, one more mix-up. Had to spend the meter there to get out. And the close C, no problem. I don't even care if you mix me up. This will be the two to three for Dracula and Ladies and gentlemen, we have a real match. Dracula needs to slide more. Oh, it's a crouching seat, sorry. Man, all those buttons look the same. He was hitting with his fist. Alright, we've seen this five times before. Always exciting. Nice jumping D. Great confirm. How many random DPs will Heiko throw at this time? There's one. Nice punish on the right Jinkin. Card cancel roll. Heiko really good at just cutting off space from Dracula, making him commit to those big decisions he can then punish. Just like that. Alright, let's see how Yori fares. There was so much like respect for the DP in that last matchup uh, with the Benimaru Mino, Mino, Mirror match. And you see a lot of it too in... Uh, wow, there was the DP that uh, Dracula was looking for. <gasps> and now he's trying to DP himself, doesn't get punished for it. Tries to roll through and cross him up, but Heiko was ready. Takes out the Iori as well and now... Dracula is on his last character, while Heiko is still on Benimaru. Making a very strong impression in this game five, uh, game six. Another command grab. 
He's been having so much success with those grabs. Good pressure. Oh, and another DP! And of course the stream just freezes at that exact frame. Nice punish. Now the roll through works, but not the confirm dropped combo. Dracula has to kick himself about that. Has to be kicking himself about that. Nice DP. Dragman, what are you doing? Just slide. Oh, and he gets clipped by the DP. No, another OCB coming from Haiku, who is now 4-2. to two. This might be the, the last game we see in this matchup. Chad, give your energy to Dracula. We want to see more of those two guys fight me. Yeah, let's hear it. It hits everywhere. Yeah, it kind of does. Alright, Dracula needs to show he's n not free in this last, maybe last mirror match. He's been trying a lot to get through Heiko's defense with those roll throughs and those ambiguous cross ups, but so far he's been really. He's get, been getting hit out of them more than it actually did work so far. And. He also got really flustered by those TPs, just like that. Really scared to approach in the mid-range, and you can see it in his uh, neutral play. Now he's been doing the DPs himself, but is it really enough this late in the game? See the like backstabs from Dracula. He's not really that comfortable just going in on Heiko. And that is exactly what he wants. So he can now try and super jump JD in. Oh, that could have been a big punish, but there's the anti DP coming out. Heiko saw that coming from a mile away and now it's round two. Iori coming out from Dracula. He needs to take a few characters with Iori now. Nice anti DP. This is the Oki. Too late for the punish. Another DP. It's very scary. And he runs into another DP from Heiko. He's been so good at just snuffing out Dracula's tendencies to go on the offensive. Oh no! Another block DP! No punish! Just one more guard cancel CD should do it. Or another JD. That works too. And Dracula has to save every single point of life he's gotten back from this exchange so far. Yashiro coming out now on second position. I could probably expecting to get a lot of mileage out of AG in last position, but Oh my god, this Yashiro is doing work right now. Gets clipped by the low Bs. DP's out. Oh. Defensive JD uh, winning this exchange. And now Dracula on his last character in potentially what is his last match. Can he take this back? Fro? Yashiro very content with just charging up while Dracula does not want to approach. Scary situation. Block. Oh, it's too... Man, Heiko's reactions are so good, especially when you consider the online environment. Unblockable. Oki. 
25 more seconds on the clock. Dracula can take this very, very slowly. Doesn't have to commit. He's, he has the life lead. Gets clipped. <gasps> Block DP! That's a lot of damage. Jumps out of the command grab. Three more seconds, two more seconds. I think he's going to win this one. Yep. But with almost no life left going up against AG on a lot of <laughs> a lot of resources, a lot of kunais. This can be this can go anyway in a number of seconds. Oh instant overhead. There's not a lot of those needed to win this match. Dracula with the clutch. Oh, this is so exciting. <gasps> no! I think that was it. Fadi. That was... That was pretty intense. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm back. <laughs> Hi. Great Hi. games, man. Uh, it was okay. <laughs> um, I think it was uh, seeable that I wasn't comfortable in this matchup. Yeah. Um, but yes, good games uh, to Heiko. Can uh, you reactivate your webcam? Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Mm. There you go. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm back again. Uh, definitely GG's to him. Uh, well deserved. I wasn't really prepared for his jumps. He was very active in the neutral. He, his reactions uh, were so good. Like, not even that, like his, his zoning was different. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't prepared for all the full jumps. I mm. didn't anti the rows. I was too defensive. I uh, was like really waiting. And sometimes I was mashing in the, at the wrong spots. So well deserved win for him. Yeah, definitely. And he's not uh, undeserved the first uh, top player in the group A. So yeah. GG's to him. Uh, Hope I can play him again uh, in the playoffs, maybe. Uh, well, it's on you. <laughs> it's on me. Like, I have to win every game, and my last in the game in the uh, in the group is going to be against Van, oh, who's wow. a really good player as, as well. So it's going to be like I think this this is going to be a tie. I have to win against Van to advance. Yeah. So um, definitely good games to him. Um, have to step up my game and. Uh, I wish him the best of luck that he plays so good. I hope mm, we'll see uh, the Dracula Redemption arc in the second half of this tournament. It's that my first loss. That, that would be okay. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first loss. And to be honest, like I love 98, but my performances in 98 are always like, eh? Mm. So uh, this is no excuse. Heiko was a better player in this match. And yeah. uh, I was. I hope that the players are still entertained by my play. So let's see uh how this will shape up in the new future yeah great games to heiko thank you for playing that was incredibly exciting especially that last match i really thought you had the comeback ready but then you got clipped with the 4d that was yeah that was I, super I, exciting in the I end i wanted to roll yeah i wanted to roll but the thing is somehow my mix uh my yeah. input got um yeah, like, 98 uh, sometimes yeah that happens like if you press forward and uh, punch and roll um punch and kick at the yeah. same time sometimes the command normal has priority over it sometimes yeah so it's better to use uh, the shortcuts yeah. for it but I you think did a lot of damage part. like that was like it, about it's, it's, 40 it's 50 okay. percent that was like one or two more mix-ups and like one, one good combo and yeah. maybe uh, in the defense and so. maybe it would be it. Like one thing I noticed as well, he rolled a lot against me. Yeah. Uh, which is okay because I didn't like react to it. And I didn't, I think I option selected once, but I really have to step it up because like if somebody rolls out of my uh, pressure, I'm getting really, really, really unsure. Yeah. And get, getting really like um, unsure about my, my whole game plan. Yeah. So it all falls apart. It's like, oh, I just want to get some hits and stuff. It's like yeah. Dracula 101, he just wants to get hits and, and hits and combos. <laughs> like, if you get, can disable that, 
Yeah. You have a pretty good chance against me. Yeah, but Nico's defense get, is like, legendary. But if I have my stuff ready, like in 14 uh, or 13, like that's bad spot when, when I shine. <laughs> but okay. enough. Uh, enough says, about that. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's talk a bit about our sponsors and also about hmm. the nice people who donated to uh, the prize pool. We uh, started a donation drive. Let me see if I can find yeah. the Twitter post. In, in the mid Meanwhile, I will, uh, want to thank um, Cutter Games for the mouse pads. The winner of, I don't know, of each game will get one mouse pad. I don't know exactly how to, uh, this works, but they have immense, like big ass uh, mouse pads for yeah. the whole desk. Uh, I'm really thinking about buying one. You can cover yourself with them and go to sleep. It's fine. Yeah. If, let's, you, let's, if you let's, don't let's have let's a blanket at your next local, just take one of those. And uh, this yeah. is our uh, Challenger League donation drive. If you go to 2B Community, you can see it just like that. Um, yeah. A few people yeah. have already donated. I want to shout them out right now. Um, but since we are on Discord call right now, I can't go into our channel. Can you please... Uh, yeah, read out I, the I names will, of all those I nice will, people who have donated yes. so far. Uh, thanks to Sam for the two euros. Uh, thanks to Lionheart for 15 euros with a message. Uh, in every game, uh, please, five euros. Uh, thank you for um, the awesome stuff. And uh, I hope there's still interest in the whole thing. Uh, 12 euros from Simon. Thank you for that. 10 euros for Huggy. Please put it this towards your nuclear at Huggy Beats. Uh, 5 euros from Jessica. Gigi Exert. Jessica21. Thank you for that. And 10 euros from Michael. Uh, thank you for that as well. Uh, this is like the first uh, donations. All of these donations are going to the prize pool. So the top three of every game will uh, compete for the money. Mm -hmm. And not only for the money. Uh, in KOF, we have uh, another sponsor as well. Yes. I want to shout, get a shout out to SNK. Uh, we are donating uh, or giving us stuff for free. Uh, they always did that, like for Hessen Crash as well, like mini gadgets, yes. like t shirts, like stickers. My whole PS4 is only full of uh, SNK stickers. Yeah, so, like, they're really good at um, just supporting the little guys. Like SNK Heroines 14, supported by SNK esports e program. The old New Geo logo, which I love because it's like it's, it's screaming great. 90s. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. And we also got, like, I think i taking it a little bit away. We got even like assigned artwork by uh, Ogo san which is like the uh, artist for KO 14 and mm -hmm. I guess 13, but don't name me on that. Yeah. And I'm really hyped for that. I really hope this is like my mo main motivation now to play a little bit better uh, because like it looks awesome. Like the artwork for it's 14. really, really nice. The in-game graphics are debatable, yes, uh, but the, the artworks for this game are really like, really beautiful like the game got a lot nicer looking after the shader patch but yeah, yeah. first impression stick you all know that and like the first impressions of kof 14 were kind of rough but if you can see past okay. that the game is so much fun it's yeah, also it i think it was is. like 75 percent off a few days ago i don't think mm. they have any keys left do, but do, i don't know uh at fanatical as uh as i think uh yeah. they ha have like an action uh for uh, like um, how do you call it? They, a they deal have, right now like for okay, 14 for 14 euros. So guys, check it out. It's like if you even if you don't buy the the whole game, like the DLC and stuff, you get 50 characters with a base uh, game. That's a lot of characters. Yeah. And uh, if you got a good connection, like to another player, that code is really solid. That code and is fine. I will put my hand into the fire. I say it right now, and I will say it again. It has the best lobby system in the whole FGC. Like, we really. agreed. Lobby like, system is absolutely rock solid. For the love of God, SNK, if you're watching this, please do the same for KKF 15. Maybe the throwback that code, wink, wink. Um, but please do the, the lobby system because yeah. it, it rocks. It is solid. You can put up eight players. You can uh, have six different stations. You can watch it. You can... Uh, you can you uh, like set, hot swap set, uh, the uh, type of games you have like, yeah. so you can have like 
three winner stays, uh, winner stays. stays on sessions, uh, one um, online training mode sessions, two tourney yeah. sessions. It's just amazing. It's awesome. And even the party mode is really fun if you yeah. got your group, the group for it. So uh, if some guys are interested, just ping me at the to be community discord which is also not only for the uh, general league but also for matchmaking so if you are interested into kof or only clear or gg uh guilty gear just join us uh i think the the link should be in the challenges league or in the descriptions of our channels as well um so come on come in have fun and uh i hope uh you, you have fun. <laughs> All right. So okay. uh, we can just start with our next game right now. This will be a pre-recorded match, but no one... Yes. Uh, I don't know what happen, is going to happen. Yes. Um, so so we are see. playing Mash Harder against not Prepsky, but RNG Jesus. Yes. Uh, um, another German player who's pretty new to the scene. I, I know that he is a local in the nordrhein westfalen area, which is, like, which is like the west of Germany. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I know that he's only playing like for half a year, a year for in 98, and it's like his first KOF. Yes. And uh, what I saw was solid. He has some stuff he can uh, like um, do better, but let's see how the match is turning yes. out. Can you share the screen, your screen, please? Yes, in a minute. Let me just get this thing running. Should be fine. And we're going mm, yes, right into the me. match. It is uh, Mesh Harder against Aaron Jesus. Okay, let's pop that out. Going to the other side. Okay, let's, let's, let's go. The scores. There we go. Let's go. Is it fine for Mesh you as well, screen? Wall. The... I, I guess so. I think it should be fine. That's about right. Uh, this is not my uh, Steam overlay, by the way. This should be fine. <laughs> Okay, let's go. On the left Fine. side, and Jesus yeah. with Geese, Mary, and Yuri. EX Yuri against Meshado from Spain. Uh, I didn't see the team again. That yeah, was Shingo, see. I think it was also Orochi Chris. Oh, it's, it's Mary and Yuri. Mary and Yuri, no. okay. I, I thought there was some overlap with your team as well. Uh, yeah, that's a bit common, to be honest. Uh, and let's go. No. You see this this is one of those things that Aaron Jesus is uh, infamous for within the Challenger League bracket is just abusing the absolute living hell out of double Rakuken. Yes, and uh, this is uh, his whole game plan because, like, the, the thing about double Rakuken and and Jesus just takes the game <laughs> is that it's really fast and it's kind of only like minus three or four on lock. It's, it's like is... way safer than it has any right to be and it's yeah, one yeah. of the best space control tools. You really have to learn how to approach against Keith who's just yeah. doing like double recoup and mm. especially in those lower ranks that's a very very strong option. It's definitely play. effective and you see it right now. We yes. don't have to commentate really the match because like you see what, what he's doing. He's just the, the thing with one, one smart thing that uh, and Jesus does he doesn't go fully in He's going like uh, a little bit out of the corner, like oh, I did would you say, see what, that one character left. Yeah, <laughs> and his back. Yeah, Mary and, it, it, and it's insanely high. Yeah, it's insane. so like one of those favorite K W F ninety eight hitboxes that just go where it doesn't have any business being. Yeah, yeah. And also right now he's, he's just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Wow, he's just chilling. nice wow, grab. As well. mm -hmm. And he's just chilling. He's just waiting, yeah. throwing while uh, double recruitment, double recruitment, just poking. Second round, definitely, and and it's easy going for Iron Jesus right now. I was testing the movement later with a friend to see what the fuck I can do, and noticed that if you don't roll behind him, Mesh Harder yeah. doing the live commentary in stream yeah. chat right now. Oh, yeah. Good Big by respect team. from both players. The stare yeah, down, yeah. I like it. Yeah, but I and Jesus could have punished it. But right now he's just uh, building meter, chipping Yuri down. Yeah, another thing that like double Repugan that makes our Repugan so oppressive is the meter mm. build on his it is insane. Not even the maiden measure going through yeah, it. Yeah. That's just really, really unfortunate. But the record is enough to close yeah. it out. 
and the taco just open him up. <laughs> still a pretty high uh, mountain to climb for Meshaya yeah. because like he's got Blue Mary and Yuri in the yes. table. Both players with the uh, normal Blue Mary, not with the EX Mary. Mm. By the way. She's still she's still pretty good, but yeah. she's lacking a few options that Blue, uh, EX Blue Mary has. The biggest difference between those two characters are Ooh. the command grabs as well. Nice hop and D. Meanwhile, Anji just closes it out with a good jumping D. And this is the game number one for Anji. Yes. So Mesh Harder has to adapt for the uh, double Republican. My labbing was... Uh, I lapped against it. And my solution was if, if he does it too close, you can just micro walk into grab and he not, cannot do anything. Like ah, if he uh, presses a, a crouching button, he will lose it. He's like minus four or five. He he's not that unsafe. And but the like, other thing that's is a, that's a uh, frame disadvantage that you can work around yeah, yeah. and that you can like make him pay for pressing additional buttons. Yeah. But um, let's see, Mesh Hada oh. changing his team up. Haida, not a character yes. you see that often in KOF 98. Yeah. I think the counter pick is pretty clear. He just wants to get these out of the picture. Yes. Uh, he can zone him out. And Big even fireballs, like, command grabs. Yeah, the, the jumping Especially command like grab on the him. life regeneration on the uh, on the command grab. Maybe uh, giving him like this extra bit of space he needs to breathe. Oh, nice mm. punish on the whiffed uh, moon slam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was just checking him out. He wanted to go in and command grab, but it was Ooh. a little bit too far. Another super getting beat out by those yeah. active frames. <sighs> Oh, nice ah. roll. Ah, but no combo after that. Oh, nice. Come on, Jeff. And now Andrew, he's just zoning. He's now... Yeah. He has the time and the life advantages for him. Yeah. One thing he, he sh should be... He doesn't be, really need uh, to take any big risks. He can just yeah. take it very slowly. Chip and yeah. out with those fireballs. Oh, nice command uh, grab. I think there was like a weird input since he crossed up, but it did come out as a command grab, which was the preferred option in that scenario. So worked out very nice for Mesh Harder. Mm. Yeah, uh, another solution for the double Rebukin is one thing that Antec mean uh, already told us. It's Borovac CD and the other one is Guard Pro. Yes. So if, uh, that is even a better solution because they get behind Geese and you Probably can push him with, with the enough corner. frame advantage to punish, yeah. Yeah. But in the meantime, Anjesus with the Mary, clipping Hayden's legs. Taking up and one to one. Mashada, one Go of those people who has no problem switching up his entire team in between sets. Yeah. He's been doing that a lot. Yeah. Shining did, Crystal did coming up. Nice again. reversal here. Making mm -hmm. Mary really pay for those random uh, slides. Yeah. Definitely punishable. Ooh. Now, now he's trying to get in, which I don't Teleports. Understand. Command yes. grab. Goes into fiber. What's the OK gonna mm -hmm. be? Season from unblockable. Yeah, unblockable setup. Into oh the yeah, right. Back That's mm -hmm. one of those things that Athena has in '98. Not only her, uh, Yuri as well. I tried yeah. to do it in the in my match, but I kind of fucked up the time. <laughs> but right now, Mesh Hunter looks pretty solid. Like real, uh, real fun. nice comeback with the Athena. That was a very yeah. solid round. Now up against EX Yuri, another very strong space control character. Yeah, now <laughs> both it's characters with the. <laughs> Like stationary reflection. Mm. Oh. oh. Okay. Mesh Harder you having a lot off. of uh, success with the uh, sweep right there. Mm. He also like delays his timing into um, the teleport into command grab. TP. Yep. And now it's a standard zoning <laughs> matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both characters with very good fireballs. EX shining crystal bit. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Hello, yeah, just blocking. Yeah, because like the chip damage isn't that high. Oh, how should cooking against the fireball? Nice trade. <laughs> and as well, does wow. a, lot, uh, a lot that of chip damage. That does and, uh, do a lot of chip damage. And very nice uh, options there from Ash Harder, tying it up one to one. Mm -hmm. The change worked. Yeah, that was a great change. And you saw him, but but he got more confident. Yeah, definitely. With his team, especially the hide and kill against Geese was really helpful. Yeah. You already saw that the whole game plan fall apart from uh, Jesus. But let's see 
it's a long set. Yep. Uh, it can go down to nearly uh, 10 games. So uh, let's see if... I think both are on the same skill level. Yeah, um, it definitely looks like it. Yeah. Like, no no uh, one of those two players seems to have like big edge over the other one. Yeah. It's a lot of small adaptions being made as the match progresses, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice grab. Mm -hmm. That was the that special was probably the first input that looked like a uh, moon slash didn't really come out the way he wanted yeah, to go. Could be. Oh, another moon slash gets beat out by the low though. Mm -hmm. Good Very jump out. deceptive hitbox. Nice block on the super. Ah, no punish. But you didn't punish, yeah. And here moon really slash. Mm -hmm. Nice throw right. tech. Um, right now, uh, even though Angie's got pushed back in the corner, he's fighting back. Got Smash in the corner and only one hit away for taking the first round and nice one. Nice, nice. Yuri taking care of that high done. Uh, very interesting. Geese now on second position. Mary just being in front to kind of clean up shop for Geese to roll and mm -hmm. rush through the rest of his team. Yeah, he wants to keep the Geese into... Yes. Uh, his backhand had, so a, he had a lot of trouble uh, with mm. the geese uh, against Haydn last time, so he's taking him out of the equation. So, mm -hmm. oh, nice shining crystal bit! Yeah, good anti air against the jumping. Very nice reversal there. On oh, but good slide as well. Like, he oh. should do the a little bit too much, but um, got a little he, greedy there with the big reflection ball. Mm. Another and reversal, again, no follow up. Yeah, no we with the sweep, though. Yeah. And we're going into game three. Now it's the geese coming out. Let's see how Athena fares against him. Athena cannot uh, reflect the double hook and that's one good thing for geese yes. in this matchup. But let's see how oh, Machada deals against double hook and... Oh um, no! And this is what I again. Oh. Just and a little bit too short for the rollback. Uh, for yeah. like the roll through. Nice command mm. grab. Misses the Oki. Yeah. Like the setup. Mm. Good Jay can even though I don't know why yeah, it he and had to act there. That, that was like a forced situation. He would have died from the clip, uh, from the chip. Mm. And we're going into uh, Yashiro, character who didn't come out last game. Let's see how he does. Mm. Right now. You're saying geese. Man, Prabsky, this is your fault, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Play, oh no. Uh, double put and play at this finals. Oh no. Yeah. This is working out for um, Jesus right now. You even leave the man up with... alone. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the corner. Yeah. And well, one thing I, I noticed like Mesh Harder didn't get a, even like a lot of meter. He spent it all in the second match. Yes. And, and it, it bite him in the ass in, in, in yeah. the anchor game. So, no, I'm Jesus, just causing no resources to roll more. out, no resources to really challenge the double Republican in the corner. Yeah. Uh, Mesh Harder was just forced to take the hits. Died a very convincing death at the hands of RNG Jesus here. Pretty it's much. Now yeah. 2 to 1. And oh, is that a Chang I see? I see a Chang, yes. Well, this is going <laughs> to be interesting. And maybe a Joe? Maybe He's thinking Joe? about it. He's thinking about it. He just got four seconds left. Three, two, one. And we got a Joe. Oh my god. Holy hell, we got a Joe. That's not some characters you see that often. It's like yeah. none of them actually. Vice, Vice is kind of. Vice is, is good. Uh, pretty good. And Chang is not bad. He, he yeah. was pretty good in Vanilla. But the thing is, like, he's uh, he has a big uh, box. Yeah. And uh, his normals are kind of slow, like yeah. a frame or two slow. You have and to play very predictively, have yeah. to kind of lock the airspace down. That seem, yeah, he probably tries to get yeah the charge yeah. move, uh, the jumping C, the jumping CD, the slide. Yeah, yeah kind of getting in between those blind spots in Lisa's offense. Mm -hmm. And this crouching jab is uh, pretty fast as well. Yes. Maybe uh, this is going to be like the answer against these. But trades do do so the thing as well. Bit. Yeah, good good jab. And right now, 
Down the nice, quarter circle. Woo. Goes They're in with the jumping CD away. right now. Yeah. Slide. He gets Ooh. beat out. Yeah, he wanted to chip him out with the, with the ball. Damn. And he still gets clipped in the end. Nice work by and No Jesus. guard frames. Geese is going up 1 to 0. Mm. Let's see if Vice can do anything about that. Of course, with the yeah. big uh, sweeping lows. Mm. She has pretty good range. Yeah, a uh, lot of nice space control tools as well. He's, like, yeah. She's not a pure grappler, she's actually pretty fast. But she has those very, very dangerous command grabs that she can mix up with mm. her range space control. Very interesting character, I like her. Yeah, gets thrown though. An awesome and I'm just opening up, doing his B and B. He always yeah. does like close C, port A into uh, command grab. As long Not as always. it works, yeah. that's like kind of his motto, right? As long as it works, why change anything? Yeah. Uh, don't, don't fix what isn't broken. Definitely. Oh, yeah. that's clip with the hop back. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking pretty solid, even though it like. What I noticed again, he changed his order back to Geese. Yes. This wasn't one thing we didn't talk about. Yeah, so Maybe because since, since you can kind of uh, change the order after you've picked characters, yeah. RNG Jesus probably saw that the entire team was different again, so he could so he can mm. like abuse the unfamiliarity with the matchup with the point yeah. Geese again, and it worked out beautifully. <gasps> oh, big Ooh. reversal! Yes, and that's pretty that's good. That's a lot of damage. Oh wow! Yeah. Not even that. Like Blumier to cross you in the corner. And she's got uh, enough time, I guess, for uh, a jump in as well. But this oh, isn't no. really necessary. Uh, Mesh Harder clips super it. from Mesh Harder. It's now yeah. three to one for Aaron Jesus. And let's see if Meshada again changes his team. Yeah, like every time he's lost a match so far, he's changed his entire team around. Let's see. Mm -hmm. See Hava on the Shermi. Like Ralph. Ralph, Kim. Kim, yeah. And Chang? No. Rio, okay. A Rio, okay. EX Rio. Let's see. Yeah. The art of fighting version. Yes. Like 97 just killed all fireball characters from the art of fighting team. They yeah. have these really stubby, weird fireballs, and the X versions are bringing that, uh, those long range fireballs back. Yeah. A lot of people prefer it. I actually prefer the uh, non EX Robert. It's a bit more offensive. Yeah. But good DP. Oh, one DP did so much damage against Aaron Jesus. I just noticed yeah. it. Oh. And he's very, that? very Ooh. content to just take those trades with the Repuken. Yeah, yeah, he's just waiting. Uh, he's trying to uh, react or at least start oh. stuff at the P. Nice that could roll. have been a big punish. Yeah, but he is nice out of the corner. Nice there, just mm -hmm. not giving anything away. This is a big strategy. That seems to work out very good for uh, Mash Harder. Yeah. Stubby normals. Stretch. But this looks good for Mashada if he gets one one hit. Another like this. nice DP. Yeah. He can get Mashada is contesting those red frequencies right now. That seems to be working out very well for him. Now, how does he fare against Blue Mary? Normal robot has command grab EX. Yeah, the proximity unblockable, right? Yes. And also, his, uh, his, like, his tornado kicks are not charge based. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice jump in. And Mashada just just relaxing and he's trying to do more of a reaction route right now. Yep. Because he, he saw that his... Uh, oh, nice run, super. Taking off a lot of damage from R and Jesus. Yeah. Maybe he can get another one. Oh, that gets clipped by the sweep. Yeah, nice one by Mesh Mashada knew R and Jesus wanted to approach. He could have just mm -hmm. spent another bar on like Ranbu or something. Mm -hmm. but. Maybe he was scared. Yeah, maybe. Um, but he, he's in nice a good dynamite lead punch. Right now. Ralph kicks. I love Ralph. Man, yeah, this Ralph character is, is so awesome. cool. Mm -hmm. And he's pretty simple in this game. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just poking. Like, he's always just like big normals, man. Yeah. Ralph big kick. normals. I think one thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
one thing he's trying to do is going in and one grab. Yep. Didn't work out this time. Rough in this version and of the game. Still has the super uh, super Argentine backbreaker. Yeah. Uses it to close grab, out yeah. this round. We're going into game four. Uh, EX Yuri coming out from RNG. Jesus. Yeah. This is looking very strong. Position. Yeah. Nashada is in a good position right now. He doesn't have a lot of meter, but right now he can just chill, build some heavy meter, Ralph. do some damage. Yeah. Another heavy Ralph King. Yeah, no dice on the sweep though. Yeah, if it's yeah. spaced, well, it is actually very hard to punish. Yeah. Oh, and nice the mid block. A lot of damage. <gasps> and he fucked up the punish. But still it in the position. Goes into max mode. Yeah. Now Abby Mashada hits. is confident to get something out of this uh, yeah, Yuri. Oh, another command grab. Will we see the triple? <gasps> nope. Oh, that was so close. Yeah. Trade on the Saiha. We're going into game five. Oh, we're, we're actually going into game five after this round. <laughs> <laughs> this is round five. Yeah. Wow. Round starts super. RNG is showing no fear. He's playing with three bars on deck. He might yeah. have another one. Sweeps. Yeah. Sai ha. Sai ha. Sai ha. again with a problem not having meter, but still getting the combo. Get in the corner. Just he, he can just chill right now. Yeah, he and has a life lead. To stuff. Yeah. Even if he takes another grab or something, like he doesn't have to commit to anything reckless. Mm. Oh, oh no! Mm. The oh hitbox no, on that one was so big. Yeah, and right now spending all the meter, <gasps> going for the run command grab, and this is really no! fast right now. Oh and no! And IG is clipping with a house shokoken. This closes out uh, match number. four. Oh, I thought five? he had that. Yo, it's 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 four one. I was so sure he had that. I was so sure we we're going into like three two uh, for R and Jesus, but it's now match point. Yeah. And R and Jesus just using the the supers at the right time. He saw that he had, had a lot of meters to spend. Yeah, and like it was the last round. If you don't spend it right now, when are you gonna spend it anyways? And mm. if it works, right? Same yeah, thing we it. saw with the with the D's. All right, yeah, Yori, Kim, and Shingo right now. Yeah. So Mesh again, Harder with another Mesh Harder. Yeah. Two two more characters we haven't seen so far. Let's see if those two out uh, work out for him. Now we saw them in the first game, but we didn't do much damage. Oh yeah, the Shingo, right? Yeah, yeah. Shingo and Yori. But right now, let's see if something changes. But I think we will see oh, a lot the of critical. Yuri Kuken. Great yeah. damage. And right now, Mesh are doing the work. Just double the Kuken. Mesh are in a bad position right now. But he gets out of a throw. Nice one, nice Shingo Shingo kick. kick. Nice base Another for one. Kick. Yeah. You can, you could never have enough for Shingo Kick. We will see nope. another one. Jawohl. Get into a... <gasps> Oh, that and trade worked out so well for Mesh Harder. Yeah, and right now he's just chilling. Yeah, he why should you more. do anything else, right? Yeah. We just want to oh, get no. one, one random hit. But I just do doesn't go in too, too hard. Dude. Oh no! And that works out for him. The double Rebukin wall of, of death. Getting the, the first round. And he got a lot of meter as well. So yeah, look at this those bars. Yeah, he already got Max uh, stock, and he, here you go, double Rupukin all the way. And Mesh are looking pretty bad right now, if he doesn't cover from this or oh, kill. Oh, what a call out on the, first the DP, now the Maiden Mesh. Yeah. Right now He's it just look content with taking off Yuri's life bit by bit. No big yeah. combos, just taking like 5-10% every time. Oh, and he gets with clipped the overhead. for the overhead. Yes. The last hit of a record is an overhead. Yep. And Mesh Hada has to really step up his game. The, the geese did too, mi too much damage and Iron Jesus in, is in the moment. Yuri's still on 50% life against two yeah. completely healthy characters and three yeah. bars of meter. Yeah. Nice DP. Good trade. <gasps> oh, what was that? A weird... Uh... That was one of those 98 interactions. Yeah, yeah, I oh think no. he wanted to try to cross up with Taco, and he got hit. But it wasn't like the D version of his, but it was the normal, the, the B version. 
with the DP, no punish. And I just just another really hit on the it. last hit of the wrecker. Mm -hmm. Last character for Mash Harder. Yeah. And it's looking point, very, point very dire too. right now. Blue Mary is being an absolute bully. Oh no, mm -hmm. he just starts the run with a slide. And nice combo! Nice con that is so much damage. Wow! Oh my yeah, yeah, god, yeah. It it's still end. going! It doesn't end. And Why one does this character do so much damage? Reversal? Oh, that might have been it. That might be no, it. Not, not yet. yet. Oh, overhead, Uppercut. nice. Yes. And wow, the taunt? Wow. Really? Wow. That's uncool. The disrespect. Yes, yeah, stomp on her. I, don't I let her. Oh, oh no. This. Oh, I was just about to say, I don't let her have any of that, but. And Iron Jesus. Iron Jesus. With a cocky yeah. win against Mershada. 5 to 1. Damn. Damn, this, that happened. So, still GG's to both of the players. Oh god. Um, but yeah. I'm exhausted happened. just looking at this match. Yeah. At the point I kind of gave up, I was testing things while I was tilted. Yeah, I would be yeah, tilted as happened. well. Like, happened. no front, man. That was infuriating. Mm. You have Especially... my deepest respect. So... If you go to the analysis of this uh, match, it was pretty obvious that uh, um, Geese was the biggest problem. Yes. And um, in my opinion, we saw that in the gameplay as well. Because like um, you see that he got frustrated and we already read that in the Twitch chat as well. Um, yeah, the double repugging did the work. And the, the, the slides and the, the, little, the little stuff like just playing down his playstyle and that worked so good good job to RNG Jesus yeah GG's um, to both players like I don't yeah, want to yeah. discredit RNG Jesus uh playstyle it's very it's it's a particular skill to know what works and how you can yeah. abuse it and even with those double repugans you know he didn't just like spam the input he did like those mm. really small tiny walk-ins adjusting his spacing kind of throwing off uh mesh harder's um like reversal timing he did those quick walk backs to uh to bait out the reversal dp from yori for yeah. instance so there was a lot more thought put into uh rng sis's playstyle than you would believe at first glance i think mm -hmm. so uh, yeah definitely, definitely. GG's, ggs to both players uh let us take a quick look with those two matches uh, at the King of Fighters Challenger the... League Challenge. Yes. So we so... saw a loss for Dracula and a win for Heiko. So you're going up uh, 5 0 right now. Very, very difficult for anyone to get back, uh, like kick him out of this um, position. This yeah. position. You are now pretty at unlikely and one right now. With I am uh, what what matches do we still have to go? Let's see. Uh, I have the next up is going to be Mantis. This is going to be a German uh, matchup. Like Mantis, one of the new okay, I see. German guys who, who are playing. Oh, yeah. After that, yeah. Amazing Legend. And my last match. This is going to be one of the toughest. Is going going to be against Van. Oh yeah. So my journey just has begun. Definitely. And uh, WA unfortunately had to drop out of the tournament. Yeah, That's yeah. why you see all losses uh, down here. He would mm -hmm. have been one of the other strongest candidates. It's very, very difficult to play against. In yeah, Group B, yeah. uh, we saw RN Jesus against Mesh Harder. Uh, two players with mixed results, but not a lot of matches played. Mesh Harder right now at two wins and one loss. This will become two wins and two losses. So he's definitely middle of the pack right now. RNG is going up with two wins to one loss. Still has mm -hmm. uh, chances at making it to the playoffs. Um, yeah. In Group B, Logic and Sinjul absolutely dominating. Paladin also very, very strong. His only loss against Sinjul in week yeah. one. That was like the first match we streamed and it was a doozy, man. Um, so he's still uh, he's still got a lot of uh, chances left for advancing to the playoffs. Yeah, definitely a very open group right now in Group yes. B. 
So we got three contenders for uh, yes. this, the second Krebsky place. is still uh, up for playing. Mm. Paladin, Deadman, Logic against RNGesus. I think they tried to get a match running today. It didn't work out due to like scheduling conflicts. And mm. then uh, Deadman D against Sindral next week. That's going to be very exciting as well. We're going to announce the uh, matches for next week in the coming days. They're not quite ready. We still have to do some scheduling. But mm. once they're ready, once we know what the next matchups are going to be, we're going to tell you I as soon as I think it's going to be pretty obvious for next week. I think... Either Heiko versus Ferris or me against Mantis as right. match number one, and I will take a look in the other direction, right. and maybe we'll see. Uh, in Group B, we have a lot of, of uh, matches open. We got uh, Jesus against Log Logic, we have Mashada against Prepsky, and we have PDF Paladin yes. against Mr. Deadman D. So definitely, all matches are pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, let's let's see what uh, will be the pick for the stream, but still, in the pretty meantime, open. guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Definitely, um, thank thank you for your time. Make sure to tune in next week. We have uh, Under Night in Birth on Tuesday, Guilty Gear X Hot on Wednesday, and then KOF ninety eight on Friday. Just like every, uh, just like the last four weeks, stream starts at seven p.m. Uh, Central European Standard Time. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, everyone who's been in chat so far. Uh, thank you for everyone who's given us like live commentary, Mashada, um, Prepsky for um, injuring his hand, I guess. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, well yeah. soon, but, man. But get well soon, Prepsky. We we want to see you on stream. Shout again. out to Prepsky, man. He's been yeah. on stream every single week. We've been streaming so far, bringing mm. the hype. Yeah. What so nice if you want to see more of us you can follow us on on twitch uh, on twitter i'm sorry uh me draculus on 89 and you was at 100 uh fgc underscore 100 yeah and fgc underscore 100 and if you missed the stream or just tuned in and said oh damn i missed the stream where are the matches we are going to upload matches at uh at our youtube channel to bcu to be community, I'm sorry. And uh, please give us a like or subscribe to uh, either of his channels. Um, and yeah, see you, see you next time. We will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.